Hello, my name is Rowan Bosley, and today I'll be presenting my project, Cars Run on Coffee, Green Biofields Made from Coffee and Tea Waste. Before I start, I would just like to say that I made sure I followed all the necessary safety procedures. According to the USDA, the world produces about 16.34 billion pounds of coffee per year, and about 3 to 4 billion pounds of coffee waste is generated from this. Decomposing coffee slash tea waste releases methane, which has a global warming potential up to eight times greater than carbon dioxide. Coffee and tea waste can be used for biofuels, but they are too expensive. This leads to the question, can we make biofuels cheaper by selecting spent ground extracts with higher levels of oil? The purpose of my project was to study the effect of the geographical locations of the coffee and tea harvest on the biofuel levels from their waste. My hypothesis was that fresh and spent coffee extracts from South America are a better source for biofuel production than other geographies, mainly due to the agricultural friendly soil composition. I did some research and I found that the biofuel of coffee extracts contains an average 5 to 15% oil. There's an urgent need to find better coffee beans with higher oil levels to make biofuels cheaper. For this project, I procured 20 different coffees and teas from around the world. Other materials I use are shown. The control variables in my experiment were the extraction conditions. The independent variable was the fresh and spent coffee extracts from 20 different geographies, and the dependent variable were the oil levels, for example, the saponified oil and the unsaponified oil. The procedure I used for my experiment is shown. I took the fresh coffee grounds, brewed it, collected the waste, weighed it, added isopropyl alcohol, heated it at 60 degrees Celsius for two hours, filtered it, weighed it again, treated it by alkali, and saponified it. In order to measure the viscosity of the oil, I devised a method called the penny pebble test. In this test, I measured the time it took for the penny and the pebble to travel from the top to the bottom of graduated cylinder. The general assumption is that more viscous liquids will have more oil. In order to prove my hypothesis, I split up my project into four different experiments. In experiment number one, the F fresh ground extracts FGEs and the spent ground extracts SGEs were subjected to an extraction using a 20% antiseptic solution containing isopropyl alcohol. The oil viscosity and weight was relatively higher for countries such as Brazil, Colombia, India, and Ethiopia. In experiment number two, the FGEs and the SGEs were subjected to saponification using a 5% KO weight solution that spun in an oven cleaner. Like in experiment number one, the oil viscosity and weight was relatively higher for countries such as Brazil, Colombia, Peru, India, and Ethiopia. In experiment number three, the SGEs were subjected to coconut oil extractions. In labs, hexane is usually used instead of coconut oil. The weight was relatively higher for South American countries such as Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. In order to analyze the data I collected in the past three experiments, I wrote a Python code that took a weighted average of the nine data points. In the end, the Python code displayed an arbitrary value, and the higher the number, the more biofuel that coffee or tea could. After plotting all the arbitrary numbers, I noticed that my hypothesis was correct. SGEs from South American countries do have higher levels of biofuels. Experiment number four was a scale-up. Coconut oil was added to a saponified oil in a separating funnel. I shaked it and added a saturated salt solution to break up the emulsions. In the end, I collected the oil layer and weighed it. The best tea, Indian tea, had on an average 15 to 15% oil, and the best coffee, Brazilian coffee, had about 16.7% oil. In conclusion, the results supported my proposed hypothesis that South American countries do indeed have higher levels of biofuel. In the future, I would like to study mixtures of tea and coffee oil, optimize the oil extraction process further, and automate the process. Thanks for listening to my presentation. I hope you liked it.